Let's talk about buck and boost transformers. Now, when connected as auto transformers, they can increase or decrease the voltage by 5 to 26 percent, depending on the transformer's voltage rating and the way it's connected. Here's a chart here. This is from uh, Acme, but uh, Jefferson makes them. Uh, Square D makes these transformers. This here has, uh, you can go from 100 to 120 volts, you know, 110 to 120, 28 to 230 volts, uh, 2, 220 to 240 volts. That comes in handy. And you can go the other way around. You can go from 230 down to 208 volts. You, you just go to the bottom of the chart and you see which configuration you want to use to hook the transformer up. Now, you can also take these transformers and just connect them as a normal transformer. In this configuration, we have uh, 120 volts coming in and 12 volts out. You can use this for a uh, uh, low voltage lighting. Now, this configuration is set for 100 volts in and 120 volts out. It's hooked up as an auto transformer. Now, in the spec sheet, it's going to show you this diagram here. And it's laid out more like an auto transformer. An auto transformer has one continuous coil. Now, uh, auto in Greek is uh, cell for single, so it's a single coil. Now, the disadvantage here is that uh, this, this output here is isolated from the mains. This is not isolated. This is mains voltage all the way along here. It's not an isolated transformer, so you have to be careful with the, uh, the transformer. There's a section in National Code that talks about uh, auto transformers. One advantage is that the, the size can be smaller than the load that it carries. You size it on the percent of voltage change that you want to do. So I'm going to hook one up, just a little bell transformer that I have. It's a uh, 5VA or with a resistive load, it's 5 watts. Now, uh, this transformer is not made to do this. This side here is only made for 100 volts. Uh, these these are made for mains voltage over here, but we're going to see if it works. I'm going to put 110 volts in, and I'm going to see if I can get 120 volts out. And I'm going to try to light a 40 watt light bulb with this this 5 watt uh, transformer. So to find the voltage change here, we take 120 minus 110, and we divide that by our 120, and that comes up to 0.08 or 8 percent. Now 8 percent of 40 watt light bulb is only 2.4 watts, so this transformer should be able to handle it. Now, I've got a transformer here, and I've got the little kilowatt unit here. Is this in frame? And uh, this is a, a small transformer. You can see by the quarter there. And we'll see if it works. I've got a, let's see if I can get a voltmeter in frame here somehow. I don't know if you can see that or not. But uh, I've got 110 volts coming in. And coming on the output, I have 120 volts. I'll unscrew the light. Maybe you can see this better. Let's see, 110 coming in and... I don't know if you can see that or not. Without a load, I've got, well, it's 122 volts without a load on there. But uh, it lights up this light bulb fine. Doesn't get warm. It's a small little transformer. Now, the trans this transformer isn't uh, isn't made for having mains voltage on the, uh, the, the 10 volt side of the transformer. But uh, they're just using it as a demonstration purpose. So you, you wouldn't be able to run this for very long uh, out in the field. So that's an auto transformer. Uh, thank you.